Okay, getting back on track here. We're gonna um, take a look at this. Take a look at this honeydew. That's uh, this is from seed. It's just right out of a store-bought honeydew. Just you know, ate it, took out the seeds, and put it right into the wood chips. And just let it do its thing, and, and it came out just fine. Got one right there. I think this is about six of them. Probably five or six plants they grew. I did thin a couple of these out. I want to get as much production out of these as possible. As you can see, there's another one right here. This little tiny guy. That should be pulling out his flower here pretty soon. And uh, I think there's a couple more around here somewhere. Right around the way. There's another good one right there. Uh, I'm sure to sure there's another one around here. I can't seem to get it. There's another right there. So this is doing actually pretty good. This is going to give us a lot of fruits on this plant. So. That'll be good, def most definitely. So there's that. Let's see if we can catch something on here. Let's see, this is having a nice crow. Look, we got one right there as well. Right up in there. See, right there. So that's good. And uh, definitely more will be popping out. So, all right, so we got that. How you do? Kale here, some collards of kale. I think this right here might be some uh, dinosaur kale, maybe. I'm not quite too sure which kale this is. It's definitely red Russian kale right here. It's doing quite well. I'm not having too much fuss. Maybe when it gets a little hot, it's been 100 degrees here for the last week. He did actually pretty good. So we got some nice tender leaves here. So got some straggly ones down here. Might want to trim these off, put these with the soil, let them break down, add nutrients. You know, get this out of the way. So like these little guys right here. This guy's probably no no good. You know, he's just not doing too well. This is doing all right down here. So you just want to trim off the dead stuff. You know, let all the energy go to these healthy leaves. Get this thing going. So this one ain't doing too good. I'll let that one sacrifice itself for the betterment of the others. Okay, so got another set of corn here. Rolling its way down to that patch over there. We'll get to that here in a minute. All right, so this little section right here is the cauliflower and broccoli. And uh, these really like colder weather patterns, but uh, they're doing okay here down in the heat. And so, yeah, it's getting a little tacked here a little bit. Probably provides a nice shade for it. But, you know. It's all right. So well, this is cauliflower, as you can see, the rounded leaves, as opposed to the jagged leaves, which is the broccoli. And if you notice, we don't have any crowns on here. That's because I think we could be, we've been trimming these a little too much when they first started growing. So I think it's done to them to just produce the leaves itself until I don't know who knows uh, what's going to happen. But these keep leafing. That's fine. They produce the crown. That's fine. But these are definitely useful. So we'll see uh, what happens with these. So you know, you want to trim off the nasty leaves, let these go on the floor so little guys can eat them. The little bugs that have been chewing on them anyways. Let them have a little snack. You know, these uh, 
These are pretty hardy plants. They're gonna do pretty good. So, so just check it out. You know, always check it out if you can find these bugs. I'm not quite too sure. I think it's uh, the other garden I've had before. I have a problem with these kind of beetles. But that's just the way it goes. So, as you can see, that's mostly broccoli and a couple of cauliflower. Okay, moving on here. And earlier I seen this here. As you can see, it got chewed up. This is, this is the third time this has happened. Things are getting ready, ready to ripen up fully. And uh, they get attacked. So, you know, I don't know who's the culprit but we'll figure it out here soon so we got some romas here as you can see Let me get down here a little bit these romas this one, this one's coming out pretty nice looking good looking good as you can see getting some good color there underneath and it should be ready here within a couple weeks or actually, uh, probably about a week and a half. Let's see, two weeks is the most. We got another one ripening up. We got quite a few on this one. And so these are doing pretty good over here, these Romas. Now, here's some squash, which all these are right here. And I'll get to that other side over there, but I just want to show you this. this these were coming from the same same person who brought all these corn that were in these pots they were all stressed out these were all stressed out as well I think these did the best out of all of them out of everything that we uh, acquired and uh, you know they're they're doing it they're doing it but this one uh, is starting to produce right here as you can see that right there is a squash these are Mexican green squashes they're very delicious Nice tender flesh. It's good to eat. Good stuff to eat. Okay, so let me uh, let me get to this way here. I'm just going to show you. This is the blue corn. Uh, this is actually uh, pretty much ready, almost ready right here. This is dried up, brown. So these are pretty much ready to go. You know what I'm saying? So we'll see about uh, harvesting here in a minute, the next couple of days. And maybe we'll harvest one here in a little bit because that one's really, really done right there. So we'll, we'll check that out here in a little bit. All right, so moving on here to the cantaloupes. We've got a nice round of cantaloupes going on here. As you can see, we've got one forming its melon, it's a female flower. Some male flowers. These are all doing pretty, pretty, pretty damn good. There's no problem with these. It's all looking good, growing good, feeling good. So we'll definitely be getting some melons out of this. Okay, so what else we got here? Okay, well, we got some peppers here. We'll look at that here in a minute. So we got, we got some onions. We're doing pretty good. Hanging in there. Getting kind of pushed over by the vines of the cantaloupe. It's doing all right. So we got, we got some seeds right here, some onion seed. Ready to, ready to do their thing here pretty soon. So we got... Quite a bit of those. And this is Serrano. Uh, I don't know what's going on. Hasn't been too happy since we put it in. You know, tried doing a couple from seed. I'll show you a couple from seed over here. And uh, you know, it's producing flowers, so it's going to produce something. And that's pretty good. Okay, so we got this over here. This pepper plant, obviously. Nice peppers in here already. 
As you can see right there. Right there. About three of them. One, two, three. So this is going to be pretty good right there. Do another one. Right here. This is pretty good. I think these are the uh, Fresno pepper or red hot chili pepper. It's good for sauces. Um, as well as roasting. It's pretty, pretty, pretty damn good. So we got a lot of flowering, a nice multitude of nodes, pods, I'm popping up. Just a little pepper right there behind there, one right here. So this is going to be a pretty bountiful uh, harvest here. So let's see, got some in there. So that's good. Got in there. So this is going to be producing quite well. So this is a habanero right here. These are from seed right here. These weren't thinned out, but I think they'll do just fine. Give you a little bit more time. And we're doing pretty good. Here's uh, the Tabasco. Starting to produce flowers. Starting to get some notes for the peppers. And it looks like it's doing just fine. I can't wait for this to come out. I like the flavor, the heat, and, uh, and everything you can do with this Tabasco. It's nice, nice. So I'm gonna trim this off right here. It's this little extra guy right here. So I'm gonna just trim this off so all the energy can go right up to these branches right here. So got some more. Um, I think this is what we got here. So, I think there's some shard or beets or I'm not even quite too sure. Just kind of, I'm not quite too sure what's going on here. So we got some. We got some uh, collards here. No, these are the collards. These are the collard greens right here. This right here, I'm not. I forgot what this is. This is another kale, I think. Some sort of kale. And it's, you know, unthinned. Pretty damn good. They're doing pretty good. Nice little tender leaves. Just fine, just fine. It's good. So these would be. These will be eaten most definitely. This is here, right here too. Got another beets. Some beets right here. Collards, more collards. This will be popping in, more beets. This is good right here. So that's good. Okay, we got some pole beans. These were said bush beans in the package, but don't believe the hype, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so we got some cantaloupes. Here's the cantaloupe. Getting there. Getting there. Oh, here we go. Nice. We're really getting there. That's the way to do it. So, here we go. We're getting some nice flowers here on the squash. A lot of male flowers. Here we go. Look at that. That's the way you should be picking them right there. Nice, perfect. Right there. Got, there go, unpollinated right there. That's unpollinated. Looks like it's gonna give out. That's what happens. There's another female flower there. So it's been it's been pretty good. We got watermelon there. And uh It's doing pretty good. I think we got one more around here. Right there. Right there, so but these aren't being too good. As you can see, all the squash is doing good. This is a silver queen. And uh, that's it for now.